Well, it's an exciting position to be in. Uh, obviously a great chance to win my national championship tomorrow and then also win the three events down here, which is an unbelievable uh, spot to be in. If you'd told me a month ago, I wouldn't have believed you. So one round away, but a lot can happen and it's uh, you know a phenomenon behind me playing as well, so I'm sure he's going to throw plenty at me tomorrow. It's going to be an exciting day. I'm going to have to do a couple of things better than I did today, I think. But uh, as long as the putter, the eye stays in with the putter, I think uh, I should be able to hang on. Missed a lot of fairways with the driver today, which is a bit uncharacteristic and, uh, you know, not really quite sure yet. I haven't thought about it, so I haven't put my finger on exactly what it is, but I'll have to figure that out before tomorrow. Uh, and it, like I said, I mean, I think for tomorrow to go smoothly, it's I'm going to have to, you know, take some of the pressure off, you know, chipping out and punching out from under trees. It's not how you win golf tournaments on a Sunday. You need to be pretty solid and, and make it as easy as possible. So uh, if I can get the driver sorted a little before tomorrow, then, uh, you know, I feel pretty comfortable going to the first tee. How important was that last hole? to make your putt and for him to miss his, just in terms of momentum heading into tomorrow? Well, I, ha I had to make mine um, because I believed he would make his. Uh, you know, if it went the other way and I missed and he made, it's two shots and um, that's nothing. That can, that can be going on the first screen tomorrow. Uh, four shots is a slightly better buffer. You know, it, it doesn't mean that uh, it can't disappear quick, but... It means they've got to do something to eat into the eat into the lead. So uh, for me to make it was huge, and then obviously a little bit of extra buffer by him missing, and uh, maybe I'll sleep a little easier tonight because of it. It's just been fantastic. I mean, can't believe this week how many people have come out and. Uh, to see everyone so excited to watch Rory and I play today, I mean, they, they should be Rory's. I think, you know, all the golf fans have been waiting a while, uh, probably since he was a teenager, to see him play. And the amount he's accomplished since, you know, deserves those kind of crowds. So, uh, you know, I think it's been an incredible uh, month for Australian golf to see the enthusiasm about the game at the moment and uh, you know it's positive signs moving forward hopefully the same happens tomorrow and we have a great atmosphere out there to play in. You said at the start that um, you thought um, they'd be kidding you if they told you you were in this position to win the triple crown today. Why did you feel that way after such a great year? Well before that <clears throat> before this month started I hadn't won two tournaments in a row ever so there were no facts to back up that it would be a certainty that I'd be uh, sitting here in this position. Um, so to have this opportunity is is a bit unreal. And uh, you know, I talked about the possibility of it because Robert has done it. But that's a lot of golf to play well, and uh, it's great to see. I mean, it's just a confidence thing for me. Just keep building the confidence and uh, to be putting myself in this position week after week you know keeps confirming to me I'm on the right track with what I'm doing with my game and uh, to finish it off tomorrow would be an incredible way to end the year um, and it would be sad if I didn't finish it off tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> A sad way to end an incredible <laughs> year. Any more questions?